What's up everybody? Welcome back to another day in Car Mechanic Simulator with me, the Virtual Mechanic, and today's project, the other new config added to the game from our wonderful little competition. This was Pi Newton's entry, and this is the Katagiri Katsumoto Street Fighter Edition, looking pretty good. We got it from the auction house, and it's in all right-ish condition, just under 50% for everything, so it's not too bad at all. And we definitely didn't get a good deal for this one because it's me and I don't get good deals. 17,633 is what I paid for this one. And I could sell it for 16,348, losing out on 1,285 before we even begin. And we will not be taking this one on the drag strip. This will be going around the track and adding to our new board, which we'll have a look at in just a second. It has got nothing on it at the moment, but we'll just quickly talk about the engine. Currently... It's got in it the i4 double overhead camera BFM engine with 319 factory horsepower. Out of all of these engines, that one is the most powerful. So that is the one we will be leaving in it, adding performance parts, trying to make it as powerful as we can today. Looking forward to getting stuck into this one. It does have a livery on it. It isn't the livery we will be keeping. And this is where all of these times are going to go from the track. So obviously we've got the gravel track times there for our off-roady stuff. And then the, the normal track times are going to be on this side for our track times instead of drag racing times. Because we obviously already have the main board for the drag racing, the top 10 and speeder board in there. Don't forget, this is part, or well, this was part of a competition. So come and join us for the next competition, which by the time you are watching this will have started. Hasn't quite started yet. And we don't quite know the winner of the Porsche Carrera GT at time of recording. But... We've got this beautiful project to get stuck into. This is available in all of your games, whether you're on PC or console, as long as it is up to date. So let's get cracking with ours. Let's get it over to the car wash. Let's get it cleaned up. In the car wash with the Street Fighter, we can already see it's got one of the liveries on it. But let's just give it a clean over the top of that and see what we've got going on. Because I believe there is a slight issue with these liveries. Yes, the Katagiri Katsumoto. These base liveries have these little glitches artifacts on them at the back there's a little one down there on the rear bumper as well as a little bit up there for the livery i'm using today i have already fixed it but don't worry i have also let the devs know that they're in there so hopefully they're gonna fix that one soon as well but let's get the interior cleaned get this beast back on the lifter get everything stripped down and get ready to get this one back to brand new normally the car's up in the air right here but i've remembered something that i always forget so let's just go in and quickly grab that starter out from here before we lift it up in the air and check for all of that oil let's get it going up now now we can check for the oil pan from this beautiful little car as i know i don't need to put it back down to get the starter out the oil pan is in there so let's get that all drained out and see how well this has been looked after not not well in any way shape or form that was absolutely terrible this car definitely needs some work. And it is obviously front wheel drive. So before we get that gearbox out, we need to get these front wheels and front drive axles out. So I'll crack on with that and I'll be back in a second. There we go. That's the front wheels and drive axles out. We just need to get this main front drive shaft out. And then we can rip the gearbox out of here because I remembered to get the starter. And obviously, I am actually really happy about that because it is something I genuinely forget every time I work on one of the smaller engines in this game. But let's go and get that engine ripped out of here and see what we got going on on the in, in the engine bay. On the engine bay. Damn it. I forgot to move to the front of the exhaust section. Back up in the air we go with the car. I was always going to forget something, wasn't I? So let's just get on with it. What an idiot. But there we go. Front exhaust section. Out you come. There we go. Back down we go and try and rip that engine out of there. Can't believe I remembered the starter but forgot the front exhaust section. Never mind. Let's crack on. Engine out. There we go. That is what we like. Put the crane away and see what we've got going on in here. So, there's quite a lot going on in here. First off, we've got the fuse box just here. We've got the fuel tank and fuel pump down the back, which I can't quite get to. So, let's go and get that fuel pump out of there. Can we get back up to the front, please? What are you going to say? Yes? No? There we go. Getting in there. Right. Fuse box lids off. Then we've got the ECU Type A underneath here. Brake servo, a battery. We will grab that battery as well. The air filter is the lovely covered one without the clips. And we've got a coolant reservoir, wishy-washy reservoir, power steering reservoir, and obviously the radiator and the fan housing kit in there. Also a medium intercooler just tucked down the front as well for good measure. Good job by Pi in there. But we need to get all these liquids drained. So let's crack on with that. Right click, 
additional tools a drain tool click on hold on any one of the containers and it will drain it all out so i'm going to get that done then we're going to get the rest of this all stripped out and when we come back it'll be time to work on this beautiful car's lovely bodywork so let's get on with that before we head over to the paint shop that's all the mechanicals repaired replaced or upgraded ready to go back on our beautiful katsumoto or whatever you call this thing but let's start stripping it down need to get all of this bodywork off so we can get it all back together. Now, I know when Pi built this, he has used some of the bonus parts and not all of them. And we will be putting this back together exactly as Pi wanted it, as how he made it in the first place. So let's just crack on and get all of this stuff out of here. Then we'll take a quick look and see some of the bonus parts that are available for this one. I think that's everything for the bodywork. Nice and simple. But let's get in and grab this interior out. We've got some lovely red seats in there. Nice bench at the back and then a cheeky little steering wheel in there as well. Steering wheel 8 ready to go. But is that everything? That's not the screen I want. 1% on there. And nothing showing up on there. That's exactly how we like it. Oh, let's have a check. What do we buy the car for? Just over 17 and a half. And it's at 39% on the frame. I'm going to say 850. 500. Way, way, way off on that one. But let's jump in. Take a quick look. Here is the alternative body shop. As you can see, there are two styles of lights, both headlights and tail lights. There is one alternative hood that we are not using. Two different bumpers. We are not using them either. And two different front bumpers. I think we are using one of the front bumpers, just not the rear one. And then if we go into the normal bodywork shop, that's everything else you need to put this one back together. Nice and as simple. So let's crack on with it. Let's just get ours back together so we can get it into the paint shop and see the livery we're going to put on this one today. Let's get this Street Fighter all back together so we can get it into the paint shop. Starting with the hood, and we just stick with the standard hood on there. The headlights are the headlights. See, looking pretty mean. A good job with them, Pi. And the front bumper is the front bumper B. So we do have an alternative front bumper and lights at the front. On with the fender and doors. These can't be changed. They are just what they are. So let's get them all in. In with the windows and the beautiful door mirrors on there. Around to the other side. Let's do the same thing. In you go, in you go, in you go. Window and a mirror. And then round to the back. We've got the rear window. Again, it is just what it is. Same with the trunk and the rear bumper. There are a couple of alternative ones. But Pi liked the normal one best. So that's what we're going back on with the standard bumper. But the tail lights, they are the tail lights C. Just looking a bit meaner, tinted out. Looking quite good on there. And for the rear license plate, we went with our VM plate with Pi New 10. Sorry, I couldn't quite fit Pi Newton in there. So we just had to abbreviate a little bit. Change the 10 at the end to a 10. I think it worked quite well. I think that's everything for the bodywork. But let's get in and get this interior back in. We have kept it the same, but I will be adding some more color a little bit later on. Beautiful red seats. Really enjoyed them. They're definitely going to stay with steering wheel 8 as well. I'm hopefully going to try and match this lever to the same as the back. So that bench might be all red as well if we can get it to work. But I think that's everything back together, is it? 100%, 100%, 100%. Fantastic. Let's get this beast into the paint shop. We're not using this livery that's on it today. We're going to be using the other one. So let's get in. And let's get it on. So this is what we've gone for for the beautiful Street Fighter edition today. This deep matte blue with the red speckled and number 14 livery on there. Looking absolutely fantastic. Now in your game, you might get a few little splashes on the trunk or a little bit on the rear bumper. If you are on PC, it's very easy to go and edit the livery to remove them, which is exactly what I have done. But don't worry, I have also let the devs know. So hopefully they'll be able to sort that out as well. And then everyone be able to make it look like this which would be fantastic inside we've added a bit of extra red or changed the red slightly to match in with these spots a bit more on the front seats and also added it to that rear bench using the quality of life mod absolutely fantastic and put a bit of blue body match blue on the steering wheel there looking very nice the engine bay itself is very blue which is nice means we can use a bit of black and red and maybe a splash of blue on that engine as well to make it look awesome and uh, yeah, then we've just got to get everything painted, including all the suspension and engine. So I'm going to crack on with that, get everything all painted, ready to get this beautiful little beast all back together. So let's get this one back on the lifter and crack on with reassembly. Everything's painted. Let's get some color on the underside of this beautiful, beautiful car. Starting with the shocks. we got blue shocks, red springs and red caps on top. The caps are red on top because they do pop into the engine bay. 
and the engine bay is very blue so i think that tiny splash of red is going to look pretty good but let's get started getting some of this in starting with the medium intercooler at the front which is in the red but it is a very metallic red everything else is pretty matte under here but let's just get in and see how it looks when it's all in the front cross member in a beautiful blue let's just get the rubber bushings in one here and one over there then we've got the steering whack whack the steering rack which is in a red the sway bar which is also in a red and then we've got the front steering knuckle in another red and uh, then we've got the inner tie rod in a blue and the outer tie rod in a black on there with the lower suspension arm also in a matte black looking very nice on you go pleased with that the shock itself we've already seen it looking very very good we'll check out that cap going into the engine bay in just a moment sway bar end link also in a black on there and then the knuckle covers in a blue with the wheel hub in a black we do have a drive axle to go in at the front but obviously we can't do that until we got the gearbox and other drive shaft section in in with that bearing then we got the brake disc brake pad and the last piece to go on is a brake caliper which is in a matte red but we have changed the color ever so slightly just made it a little bit brighter so it tries to blend in a little bit more with them reds that's looking good up there let's take a step away and go into photo mode i've got the hood open this time so i can just very quickly show you that spring cap just popping up into the engine bay looking quite nice there but let's get down the back let's get all of this together the rear suspension cross member in the blue with the rear knuckle also in a blue on there and the sway bar just in a lovely little red we need to get some rubber bushings in there's one down here that doesn't need to be bolted up and then two at the top that do need to be bolted in you go and in you go there then we can start getting all of the suspension arms in they are all in a beautiful matte red i think it looks absolutely fantastic so let's just get them all in in you go we've got one down the bottom down on this side in you go and then obviously the one that's sticking out the side it does have an extra rubber bushing in it so let's get that one in looking good on there with your extra rubber bushing nicely done then we've got the shock which is in a blue matching the shock at the front and you can see it goes blue red blue looking very good there we do have a sway bar end link down the back which is in a black along with the spring cap which is in a blue looking very nice with the spring in red and then the cap on the top in a blue not a red the same as the front we didn't need an extra splash of red for the engine bay then we've got the knuckle cover in a blue with the wheel hub in a black same as the front in you go bearing in you go with a wheel hub cap on there which is in a red brake disc brake pad and then that black black that matte red brake caliper in there getting my mind confused as we go around looking pretty good down there fuel tanks in a blue and the fuel pub is in a red not quite a matte red the same as everything else just the way it paints but i think all of that's looking very good very very pleased with it quite blue down the back here seeming a bit more red at the front but i'm going to crack on now get the rest of this suspension all put together then when we come back we'll sort out the engine bay before we go and build that beautiful little bfm engine very red and blue in the suspension looking absolutely beautiful what do you guys think do let me know in the comments down below but let's crack on let's get this engine bay all sorted out start with these reservoirs coolant wishy-washy and a power steering reservoir all in there down here we've got the stage three year type a ecu we've got brake servo and a cheeky battery just in there and then nip over to this side we've got the air filter which we've just kept in black this is one of the ones that you can either chrome or very 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 dark colors so we just kept this one in the black today abs pump is in a very metallic -y red with the module just in a black on top of it there looking quite nice and then the radiator is in the metallic red same as the intercooler at the front there with the fan housing kit in the black with both fans in a lovely little chrome red and just finishing it off in there looking very very nice pleased with that i think it looks pretty good in there in all honesty we've still got the engine to go in that should finish off this engine bay so let's go and build that beautiful beautiful engine the oil pans in red blocks in black and the engine head is in a blue i've got half of the innards already filled in just so we can ramp through it really quickly you can see that we've got a camshaft and a four camshaft caps along with four spark plugs so we need to get the other camshaft on you go along with all four camshaft caps in you go in you go and on with the other two nice and easy just wanted to quickly sort of show you where things go just in case you weren't sure then we need the cam gear on the end up the top here along with the timing belt nope idle rollers next in we go with the idle roller in we go with the other non-painted idle roller because they're under the cover water pumps not painted either but 
we have painted a belt tensioner let's just get the belt in and then the belt tensioner that is just in a little blue just to look good in there but it goes underneath the timing cover which is in a forced chromed blue because again one of them very dark pieces you either put dark colors on it or you force chrome it we went with force chrome today looking pretty good with the crankshaft fully blacked out alternator blacked out and then the power steering pump just in another matte red just to sort of add a bit of extra color in with the belt and the last idle roller that is painted with a little bit of black on there if we nip around to the back we do have a couple more cam gears one here then we've got a timing chain and another cam gear just on the back there we go along with the timing cover which we have kept in the matte blue hopefully blending it all in looking at pretty good fuel filter is in a red and oil filter is officially in a red but it comes out like a lovely little blue and black on there looking quite nice under here the fuel injectors they are all in a matte red in you go in you go in you go and in you go and then we got the intake manifold which is in a blue it's an ever so slightly different sort of shinier blue it was meant to be matte but that's just the way it turned out but it looks very good on there quite pleased with it throttle is in a little red on you go looking pretty good just adding a splash more red up there then we've got the engine head cover again another black plastic piece so it had to go a force chrome red and obviously unless the lights reflecting off it, it is incredibly dark but it does look pretty good so we'll go with it and we'll see how it looks when we drop it in the car well the ignition coils are just in a little black just to keep them flowing on there then we've got the exhaust manifold in a matte black now you can't really see it we're just going to whack the torch on very quickly you can see it is on there it's got some details and the turbocharger is also in the same color but it's got some red splashes on it looking absolutely fantastic if we turn the torch off it's hard to see but you can just about see the red splashes but i do like it i think it looks absolutely fantastic that is the whole engine built ready to go so let's get it off the stand and let's get it dropped into the street fighter edition off you come and let's see how good this looks in the engine bay with some of the shiny parts which we've tried to avoid using but sometimes it just happens engine crane put away let's have a look that's not looking too bad you can see the reds are obviously totally different the blues are a little bit different as well but it is still looking a pretty good in there if we nip round to the back you can just about see the turbocharger and the exhaust manifold in there but let's get it up in the air so we got the gearbox the front drive axles and another drive axle connection bit to go in along with the rest of the exhaust good english there i will say gearbox is in a matte black on you go keeping it tied in with that engine block on there but then we do have the front drive shaft that's what i was trying to think of earlier in the red and the two front drive axles just in the cheeky blue but they've obviously come out metallic because of the way they paint but they still look very good we do have another piece to go in but we have to do that from the engine so let's crack on with the exhaust all in a matte black looking absolutely fantastic in you go in you go and then the last piece just down the back on you go there now let's take a step away and see how it looks obviously it's very dark under here almost completely covered and that black exhaust just nipping out the back looks pretty good in there let's get it back down because we do need to get that starter in if we just nip up to the front in we go and then in with that starter which we've done in a matte red just to add a splash more color in there looking very very nice now we're going to crack on get the liquids all topped up get these windows tinted get some beautiful wheels done and get this lovely car outside in the sun well here we are then all finished with the beautiful katagiri katsumoto street fighter edition made by pi newton added into the game thanks to the competition and your wonderful votes i'm very glad this one got added in looks absolutely fantastic and if you just look now we have all three of the newer configs sat outside the shop at the moment one from old timer looking beautiful one from pi newton also looking beautiful and one from myself looking very nice if i do say so myself but now we need to get these three all down the track obviously these two have already done it we've got their times we just need to get the final one in the category katsumoto but before we jump into that let's talk a little bit about this build specifically these rims here i went for the rim at 1a i say i went for that it's what came on it pi's original choice we've also left them the exact same size as they were from factory as well which is an 18 inch rim with a 215 width and a 35 profile on there and it is the same all four corners all the way around every wheel is exactly the same we put some race tires on ours today the toyo tires pack available from Payne's patreon 
as long as you have the quality of life mod as well. Let's get inside though. Check out this beautiful red interior, getting all the benches and seats all matched up. And then just a splash of that body coloured blue on the steering wheel as well for good measure. Looking very good in here. Let's get it started up and hear that BFM engine. Not too shabby. It's one of the i4s. They're not my favourites. I'm a V8 fan myself. But I do like a V10 and a V12. But let's give this one some gas because it does have a turbo. Not sounding the meanest at the top end, but that turbo whistle really just gives it a bit of definition, a bit of feature on there. Still sounding pretty good, though. But let's get this beast onto the dyno, see what its horsepower is, what its drag rating will be, even though we're not going to use it, and then get this one over to the track. On the dyno with the category Katsumoto Street Fighter Edition, and it's inline four double overhead camera BFM engine with 319 factory horsepower. How much have we added today? And what will its drag rating be? even though we're not using it. A gain of 295 horsepower, 93%. Not quite a whole new engine, but very, very close. Bringing us up to 614 horsepower from this beautiful little car. Drag rating a little bit low on the A578 section there, but uh, hopefully it will still be a pretty good around the track. Let's get in and have a look at the gearbox tuning. This is what I've gone for today, a 3.15 ratio, 70k in first gear, up to a recorded 327 in top gear. I don't think we'll get anywhere near that today around the track. Obviously, the ECU is fully tuned, no carburetors. Let's get this onto the track, see how it compares to the VM track pack and the Henata Moon. You know the drill by now. We're going to do two laps, one standing lap, one flying lap. You'll see the whole of the flying lap regardless of what happens. And maybe just a little bit of the standing lap if we make a few mistakes. Just something funny to keep you entertained for my bad driving skills around the track. The time to beat from the Hinata Moon Special Edition OTS is at 126.537 for the flying lap. So let's just get in with it. Let's go. Come on, little Katagiri. Let's get this. Bring this to the street. Let's make it a fight. Off we go into the first corner. Well, we're not going to break. We're just going to let off the gas a little bit and get around. There we go. Into the big corner. Heavy on the brakes. Hopefully into third gear. And I've completely messed it up. Into the barrier. We all know I'm a terrible, terrible driver. As we accelerate round, get this little beast across the line. Ready for the flying lap. 138.258. Oh, God. And I've completely messed up. We've gone wide. Shouldn't try. I've tried to read the times there. But it is what it is. Let's keep this going. On we go. Get it round. Power, power, power. Full throttle around that bend. Wasn't quite. I did have to let off ever so slightly then. Just to pull me round. Into the first big left-hand tide. Bit bent. Let's get in. Bit bent. I meant to say banked. But there we go. Accelerate round. Yeah, that was much better than the first time. Bit more acceleration. Slam on the brakes to get us around the rest of this corner. And then into the right-hander. Can we do it full power? We can't. I did have to let off again there. But let's get the power all the way down. Come up to the big right-hander. Slamming on the brakes. Get ready. Pull it in. A little bit of acceleration. Get us around. Using the bank. Definitely pulled a little bit wide there. I think we got some air off of that bank on the corner. Up to the left-hand bend. The big banked one. Slam on the brakes. And then accelerate round. Not using full power. We're in the wrong gear. But there we go. We're going to use it. We're going to roll with it. And actually, probably worked out quite all right for that corner in the end. Up to the S's, where we need a little bit of dab on the brake for the first corner. And then heavy on the brakes for the second corner. Have we got enough? I think we just about have there. Back on the brakes. Oh, get us pulled around for this corner. Into the final left-hand diner. Left-hand corner. Don't know what I tried to say there. And then power down. Let's get this down the straight and across the line. Not as good as the Hinata Moon. Still pretty good and nonetheless. Definitely better than the Mayan M3 VM track pack. There we go. Standing lap 138.258. Flying lap 133.495. Does definitely leave this one a nice and comfortable second on the new racetrack speederboard. Let's get this back to the garage. See if we can sell this one on for a bit of profit as well. And then we can get rid of all three because we don't need them there anymore. There she is then, uh, the newest speederboard in the garage, the Racetrack Lap Times speederboard for cars that we simply take around the racetrack. So far, the vehicles that have been around are the three new additions to the game from the competition where we got them added into the base game. Very, very pleased with that. 
Obviously, old timers Hinata Moon Mark One Special Edition OTS had 1,668 horsepower, the most out of the three. Managed to do the standing lap in 131.421 and the flying lap in 126.537. Absolutely incredible. Blown the competition out of the water. The Katsugiri Katsumoto Street Fighter by Pai Newton. 614, factory, uh, 614 horsepower by the time we tuned it. Not factory. Uh, did the standing lap in 138.258 and the flying lap in 133.495. Coming in nicely in second place and holding up the rear is the Mayan M3 VM track pack with 967 horsepower managed to do the standing in 151.583 and the flying lap in 148.562 definitely last of that speederboard we will have more to come to these two boards here obviously off-road cars on the off-road track track cars on the track and then the drag strip for everything else just beautifully in there. But now we need to head back outside and see whether we'd be able to make some money from the beautiful Katagiri Katsumoto. All finished with Pai Newton's beautiful Katagiri Katsumoto Street Fighter Edition. Looking absolutely fantastic. We saw how it got on on the speeder board against old timers Hanata Moon just there. And my VM track pack just there. Looking pretty cool. But uh, this one managed to come in second place. So it definitely did very well. On that speeder board round the track front wheel drive definitely helped it out beautiful work by pine newton available in your game as long as your game is currently up to date and ready to rock you'll be able to play with this one and use this fantastic livery which is a base game at livery as well well let's talk facts and figures i bought the car for seventeen thousand six hundred and thirty three and could have sold it at a loss of one thousand two hundred and eighty five but obviously we didn't do that we spent fifty four thousand seven hundred and thirty six upgrading and modifying tuning and painting this is a beautiful, beautiful car, pitting our total spend at 72369 But the real question is, can we make some profit from this beautiful car? And we are going to sell the other two today. The only one I'm keeping is the VM Track Pack because that's my creation and it's now available in the base game. But let's see if we can make some money from this beautiful little car. There's the Street Fighter Edition all finished. It does look absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love it. So incredibly pleased with the three new entries into the game. They are all absolutely fantastic in their own right. Obviously, two of them drive considerably better than the one I created, but mine was built for the drag strip, although it is called Track Pack. But we'll just ignore that, completely gloss over that. Pay more attention to this beautiful, beautiful car made by Pi. It looks fantastic. I love it, and it drives incredibly well. Could do with a little bit more power, but that's personal preference in all honesty. Obviously, we did manage to tune up that engine. We kept it with the BFM and ramped it from 319 to 614, a gain of 93%. But can we make some money? And we are going to get rid of these today, so let's find out. That's close. With the sale of 75,290, that does only leave us with 2,921 profit. Very, very close, but profit is still profit nonetheless. Just about squeezing it in there. And if we got to the drag strip, we might have had a little bit more winnings from this beautiful, beautiful car. Let's just quickly check out this one as well. Looking fantastic in there. And obviously the VM and track pack. Very, very pleased with all three of these. Everyone did fantastic. I know I'm patting myself a little bit on the back there, but I did get one added in. So there we go. But let's get rid of this one here. Off you go. Taking our little bit of profit. And obviously we did have some profit from the beautiful OTS version as well. We managed to get 32,000. 394 profit from this one but off you go as well and i can't remember how much profit we would have made from the track pack but we're not selling it, it is going to stick around it's going back in its parking space later on today but let's talk up next you can already see it on the trailer this is the jumpy game don't know why it always jumps when i go from there to here don't know what it is about the crossing over here somewhere but it makes it jumpy this is the subaru impreza this is relatively new on the steam workshop and uh it's got some panel gaps, as we can already see in there. But overall, it looks absolutely fantastic. And I'm looking forward to getting in and building it. Obviously, it's the Super Impressor 22B. Don't know what that part means myself. It is a standard edition. It is modded in, and it's fantastic. We got it from the auction house, and, well, it is absolutely awful. I don't think I've seen one this bad for quite some time. But did we get a good deal? No, but not quite. I will definitely take that. We only bought it for 2000 643 and i could sell it for 2162 losing out of 481 which in all honesty is not that bad at all we'd definitely be able to claw that back 
depending on where we race it. Where do you want to see this race? There's a rally car, so we could do any. We can do the drag trip, uh, we can do the gravel track, or we can do the road track that we've just been working on today. Let me know where you'd like to see us test the beautiful Subaru Impreza and its B6 MA 1.03 engine, the 320 factory horsepower. We will obviously be adding performance parts to this one when we come to build it on Monday. So make sure you join us back here on Monday to see us build this beautiful, beautiful Subaru Impreza. Very much looking forward to that one. Don't forget to let me know in the comments below what you thought of today's beautiful build, the Katagiri Katsumoto, or obviously the Hinata Moon, or the VM at Track Pack. Do let me know. Leave a cheeky little like if you enjoyed it. Share this video with your friends if you think they'll enjoy it. And smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day, whatever you get up to. A beautiful, beautiful weekend. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.